Good morning students. I am Jacob, your English teacher. So today we are going to continue the chapter The Hundred Dresses and today we are going to read chapter number 6 which is the second part of Hundred Dresses. So in part 1 we read that Wanda, Peggy and Maddie were classmates and Peggy and Maddie used to tease, make fun of Wanda. So Wanda Petronsky was a poor and was a quiet girl and belonged to Bogen Heights. So she was very uh, quiet, not talkative and she did not have any friends. Peggy and Maddie used to ask her about the hundred dresses she had in her closet and Wanda used to reply very calmly, very peacefully that yes she has and those hundred dresses are of multicolor, velvet, pink, blue and all and she used to say this and she used to leave and after Wanda left the girls used to make fun of her. Finally the day came when the results were to be announced for the drawing competition. So everyone thought, especially Maddie thought that Peggy is going to win because she is very good at drawing. So Maddie was being positive that yes, Peggy is an intelligent girl so she is going to win the drawing contest. So the results were announced and among boys, Jack Beggles won and among girls, Wanda Petronsky won the contest. contest. Everyone was surprised and when the drawings of Wanda Petronsky were displayed in the room everyone was like amazed because the drawings were magnificent and all the hundred dresses that she mentioned whenever she was asked that how many dresses she owes so all the dresses that she mentioned all were there in the drawings that she has or she had drawn and Maddie and Peggy were actually recalling that yes this is the same dress she told about that day okay so this was in part one so let's read and find out that what is there in part two of hundred dresses okay so chapter number six the hundred dresses Part 2 from your first flight book, page number 73. So let's read. While the class was circling the room, the monitor from the principal's office brought Miss Mason a note. Miss Mason read it several times and studied it thoughtfully for a while. Then she clapped her hands. Attention class, everyone back to their seat. When the shuffling of feet had stopped, and the room was still and quiet, Miss Mason said, I have a letter from Wanda's father that I want to read to you. Miss Mason stood there a moment and the silence in the room grew tense and expectant. So what happened? In part 1, we read that Miss Mason asked the students to take a look on all the paintings and drawings that were lying in the room. So everyone was moving here and there. In part 2, how the day starts? It says that Miss Mason claps her hands and asks everyone to pay attention to whatever she was saying. And she said that I have something to read, so kindly settle down quietly. So everyone settled quietly and they were expecting Miss Mason to read something interesting. Miss Mason stood there for a moment. The teacher adjusted her glasses slowly and deliberately. Her manner indicated that what was coming. This letter from Wanda's father was a matter of great importance. Everybody listened closely as Miss Mason read the brief note. Dear teacher, my Wanda will not come to your school anymore. Jake also. Now we move away to big city. No more holler polack. No more ask why funny name. Plenty of funny names in the big city. Yours truly, Jan Petronsky. Before reading the letter, her body language, her manner indicated like 
she was adjusting her glass so her manner indicated that something was coming and when she started reading a brief note she read that jan petronsky wanda's father wrote that they have shifted to a big city where there would be no holler pollack holler pollack means that there would be no cries no words which will actually hurt his daughter there will be no one to ask why funny name there would be people who who would have plenty of funny names means would have similar names like wanda a deep silence meant the reading of this letter miss mason took off her glasses blew them on them and wiped them on her soft white handkerchief then she put them on again and looked at the class when she spoke her voice was very low so miss mason was also a bit upset that what has actually happened the words that her father wanda's father wrote in the letter were actually kind of upsetting i am sure that none of the boys and girls in room 13 would purposely and deliberately hurt anyone's feeling because his or her name happened to be a long unfamiliar one i prefer to think that what was said was in thoughtlessness i know that all of you feel the way i do that this is very unfortunate thing to have happened unfortunate and sad both i want you all to think about it so after reading after reading the letter the teacher was surprised as well as upset that what has actually happened so miss mason says that i hope none of you had heard or has heard anyone purposely deliberately by if if the name is too long whatever has been said was not thought before and she says that this is a lesson that we should learn because whatever has happened is unfortunate and it's very sad the first period was a study period maddie tried to prepare her lessons but she could not put her mind on her work she had a very sick feeling in the bottom of her stomach true she had not enjoyed listening to peggy ask wanda how many dresses she had in her closet but she had said nothing she had stood by silently and that was just as bad as what peggy had done deep inside her heart she was feeling bad for wanda that peggy used to make fun of wanda and i used to stood by peggy's side and i did not say a single word when peggy used to make fun of wanda so now she was feeling bad after wanda left worse she was a coward at least peggy hadn't considered they were being mean but she maddy had thought they were doing wrong she could put herself in wanda's shoes so after listening to the news that wanda would be leaving the city or she might have left maddy was feeling bad for her she was feeling sad and she was saying that now i can understand that how wanda would have felt when she was actually asked this question almost every day so in wanda's shoes means that to understand how wanda would have felt at that time goodness wasn't there anything she could do if only she could tell wanda she hadn't meant to hurt her feelings she turned around and stole a glance at peggy but peggy did not look up she seemed to be studying hard well whether peggy felt bad or not she maybe had to do something she had to find wanda petronsky maybe she had not yet moved away maybe peggy would climb the heights with her and they would tell wanda she had won the con- contest that they thought she was smart and the 100 dresses were beautiful so maddy thought that is there something that she could do now or she can do right now so she thought that they would actually go to wanda she and peggy she and peggy would go to wanda and they would tell her tell wanda that she has won the 
contest and the drawings and the dresses that she has drawn are pretty and beautiful when school was dismissed in the afternoon peggy said with pretended casualness hey let's go and see if that kid has left or not so peggy had the same idea many glowed peg was really all right so what happened peggy also had the same thought in her mind that let's go and find out whether wanda is there or has she left the city so so many glowed glowed means she was hopeful now that yes she would go and find wanda the two girls hurried out of the building up the street towards bugin heights the part of town that wore such a forbidding air on this kind of november afternoon drizzly damp and so now the description of bugin heights is given that it had a forbidding air means a foul smell bad smell and drizzly damp and dis- dismal means wet and sad like the atmosphere the air was kind of suffocating it was bad well at least said peggy gruffly i never did call her a foreigner or make fun of her name i never thought she had the sense to know we were making fun of her anyway i thought she was too dumb and be look how she can drop so kind of peggy is giving her explanation she is talking roughly and telling maddy that maddy that i never meant to hurt wanda and i thought she was a dumb she would not understand that we were making fun of her and i always thought that she is so dumb how will she be able to draw so well Maddy could say nothing all she hoped was that they would find Wanda she wanted to tell her that they were sorry they had picked on her and how wonderful the whole school thought she was and please not to move away and everybody would be nice she and Peggy would fight anybody who was not nice so they were so sad after uh, miss mason uh, miss mason read the letter so they thought that they would go and tell wanda that please don't go stay here we would actually take care if somebody would tease her or make fun of her and peggy and maddy would be the ones who would fight for her and also they would actually feel sorry that they picked on wanda picked on wanda means they treated her badly or they made fun of her The two girls hurried on they hoped to get to the top of the hill before dark. I think that that's where the Petronskis live, said Mary, pointing to a little white house. Wisps of old grass stuck up here and there along the pathway like thin kittens. So again, Petronskis white house is being described. So wisps means pieces. The pieces of old grass were stuck there and pathway were little kittens. okay so the scene is being described that what was around the house the house and its sparse little yard looked shabby but clean it was dirty but still it looked clean it reminded many of wanda's one dress her faded blue cotton dress shabby but clean there was not a sign of life about the house peggy knocked firmly on the door but there was no answer she and maddy went around to the backyard and knocked there still there was no answer so they went to bogen heights and they were looking for wanda's house they finally found one and they described it as that it was shabby it was dirty but it still looked clean they knocked on the door both the front door as well as the back door but there was no response from inside so students we will continue this chapter in another video so if you have any questions you can discuss it with me during our online class do watch the video and come up with questions so thank you so much and have a good day ahead